Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 187. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says that two people are 150 kilometers apart. Two people are 150 kilometers from each other. They both start driving at the same time and in the same direction at their respective constant speed. They are driving at constant speed throughout the entire story. We are told that when they start driving at the same time in the same direction, they meet in exactly 10 hours. But if they drive in the opposite direction, towards each other that is, at their same respective constant speed, the speed does not change. As I said, they drive at the constant speed their respective constant speed throughout the entire story, whether they're driving in the same direction or opposite direction. We are told that when they drive in the opposite direction, they manage to meet in just two hours. The question simply is, what are their speeds? Now for those of you, for those of you who have been watching these videos in proper sequence, you would know, you recognize this problem right away. This problem is very, very similar to what we did in number 182. If you have not if you have not watched problem number 182 already, watch that one first. Watch number 182 first, and you will see that this problem is very similar to, this, to the problem that we then, did then. Just the numbers are different, that's all it is. Let's get going, shall we? You want to give it a try first? Go ahead and try it first if you like. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video to, for you to get the unobstructed view. Do the problem yourself and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together, okay? Here we go. All right, so we have two people. We have two people, they're 150 kilometers apart. So here we go, we, let's first draw a little diagram here. They're 150 kilometers apart. And obviously one is faster than the other because even though he's 150 kilometers behind this guy, eventually when they drive, when they start driving in the same direction, they meet up, this is where they meet. This is where they meet, this guy, drives all the way from here, all the way to here, and this guy just has to drive this distance, and they end up meeting. Since he's going to drive 150 kilometers extra, obviously he's going at a faster speed. Let's give these two people a name, let's christen them, let Chris, let's christen them, let's christen them so that we can talk about them. The word christen is something we learned in our vocabulary lessons long time ago. Christens, if you, Christen, as you, if you recall, has two meanings. Literally, it means to baptize in Christianity. When you baptize a child, that's called christening. Metaphorically, it just means to give something or someone a name. Let's christen them, let's give them name, let's give them labels so we can talk about them. This guy in the back who has to drive another, uh, who has to drive fix 150 extra miles, obviously has to go faster. Let's call it Mr. F. So we have a Mr. F here and Mr. S who is located here. Mr. S because he is slow. How far does Mr. F has to drive? Mr. F has to drive. F has to drive. This, whatever the distance that this guy has to drive, let's call this D, D kilometers, D for distance. This is the unknown quantity. Mr. F has to drive D, kilom D kilometers plus 150. Whereas S has to drive, has to drive only d kilometers before they meet. It's going to drive d kilometers and that's their point of meeting. F, who is 150 kilometers behind him, will have to drive that much extra, obviously, d plus 150 kilometers. We're going to pick up our speed, uh, we're going to pick up our uh, uh, work on the top here. And when do they meet? We are told that they meet in 10 hours. We are told that we are, they meet in 10 hours. So we're going to use the letter, we're going we're gonna to express their speeds, the speed of Mr. F and Mr. S. Let's use the small letter F to represent the speed of Mr. F, the fast guy. The fast guy. And let's use the small letter S to represent the speed of Mr. S, the slow guy. 
and we know they'll meet in 10 hours. We know that meet in 10 hours. Again, I need the room. So the, even though this deals with the fact that when they are doing the opposite direction, I need the room. Or perhaps we can finish up here. The speed of the speed of the F, which represents the speed of the fast guy, is very simple. It's going to travel 150 plus D, D plus 150 kilometers in 10 hours. That's, that's his speed. There you go. Kilometers per hour. Similarly, the speed of the slow guy is simply d kilometers. He is going d kilometers in 10 hours. That's his speed. Now let's talk about the situation when they go in the same direction. When they're going in the same direction, listen carefully, when they're going in the same direction, the only distance that they're going to travel is this distance right here. It is this distance that I'm going to portray here. We're going to magnify it. We're going to magnify this distance so that it's easier for us to see. Okay, let's do this. So now we're talking about a situation when they go in the same direction. And once we have shown, once we have shown this portion here, 150 kilometers here, in a magnified form, once we have shown this thing, we're going to erase this picture because this picture deals with the scenario when they're driving in the same directions. They go in the same direction, they end up meeting there. Now they're going to drive 150 kilometers. We're going to magnify it. Right here is our 150 kilometers. 150 kilometers. This is where S was. This is where F was. And now they're going to start driving in the opposite direction. He's going to go this way. He's going to go this way. Since, since this guy is a fast guy, obviously he's going to end up traveling a bigger portion of 150 kilometers. Let's put it somewhere here. And let's call this distance. Let's give this distance a name. Let's give these two distances name. Before we use D, before we use letter D to represent the entire entire distance that they were traveling from here to here, let's use let's see what I use. I want to use the same symbol that I use in my notes here so that it's consistent. Let's call this D1. If it is D1 kilometers, if it is D1 kilometers, then this distance would have to be 150 minus D1 kilometers. That's how fast, that's how far S would have to drive. When they're going in the opposite direction, S will drive 150 minus D1 kilometers, F will drive D1 kilometers, Mr. Fast, fast guy, Mr. F. Now I'm going to raise this part, as I said, this part deals with the scenario when they're going in the same direction. Now what are we going to do with this thing? Well, it's very simple. We know how much, how much they're uh, driving, we know their respective distances, and we know how long it takes. It takes them two hours. It's going to take two hours for them to meet right here. They're going to meet right here. They're going to meet right here. Meet here. In how long? In two hours, we are told. We are told that when they go in the opposite direction, so I'm going to make sure that I remember it correctly. But if they start driving in the opposite direction, they meet in just two hours. There you go. So we know they meet in two hours. We know how much distances they are traveling. Okay, listen carefully. We know how much distances each one of them is traveling. We know it takes only two hours to travel that distance. We can calculate the speed for the fast guy here. We can figure out the speed of the slow guy here. And because of the fact that we were told that this, their speeds are always constant, regardless of whether they're going in the same direction or in the opposite direction, this, this, they drove throughout the entire story at the same constant speed. Once we know the speed here of the slow guy, we can equate that thing to this one. Once we know the speed of the fast guy from here, we can equate that quantity to this guy and solve for D. Very simple. Let's do it. So the fast guy here, how, how far is he going? He's going D kilometers. So the speed of the fast guy, the speed of the fast guy is same as before, so we're going to use the same symbol obviously. That's his speed, F. That's an F if you have, this is right here. This F right here. The speed of the fast guy, he's going D1 kilometers in how many hours? In two hours. And this guy, he's going He's going slow guy, that's, we use letter S for that. He's going 150 minus D1 in how many hours? In how many hours? In two hours. So we know F equals D1 over 2 and we know F equals D plus 150 over 10. Let's substitute this quantity for F over here. D plus 150, D plus 150 over 10. And let's get rid of the units. 
Similarly here we have the S, which we know, which we know is 150 minus D over 2, but S is also equal to D over 10. Let's put a D over 10 here. And let's get rid of the units. Remember this is D1, don't forget that, this is D1. Okay, let's, let's pick up speed now, 2 times, two times D, D plus 150. 2 times d plus 150 has to equal 10 d1. And here, cross multiply, 2 times d, 2 times d has to equal 10 times 150. Something has gone wrong. I don't remember doing, doing 10 times 150. Oh, I, I know why I don't remember it. Actually, this is, this is silly. This is silly. I changed my mind. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. We see a 2 here. We see a 10 here. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So this 2 will disappear and this will become 5. And we'll have 5 times d1. We'll have 5 times d1. Which is why I don't remember. Which is why I couldn't remember multiplying 150 times 10. Because that's not what I had done in my notes. Again, we have 10 here. We have 2 here. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Multiply this side of the equation by 2. Multiply this side of the equation by 2. 2 is going to drop out. And 10 will become 5. So here, we, do no, long we no longer have... 2 times d is just d, because this is 1. 1 times d is just d, and here we'll have 5 times this quantity. So we'll change color again. 5 times 150 minus d1. Let's open the parentheses. 5 times 150 is 750 minus 5d1 equals d. And, oh, there you go. This is 5d1, let's bring the 5d1 to here, so 5d1, if you bring it to the left hand side, it will become 750 minus d, 750 minus d, there you go, this is 5d1, this is 5d1, they are the same quantity, which means that, which means that these two quantities, which means that these two quantities would have to equal, would have to equal, which will do on the top. We are almost there, just be patient. So 2 times d right here, 2 times d plus 2 times 150, 2 times d plus 2 times 150, 300 would have to equal, that's the 3, it's a very deformed 3, 300 would have to equal 750 minus d. Voila. Bring the d to this side, we'll end up with 3d equals 750 minus 300, 750 minus 300 is 450, I'm getting paranoid one more time because I don't remember doing any of this, yep, I made a mistake somewhere I guess, 750, did I make a mistake here, D plus 150, What is this 2? Oh, Jesus, see, I, I, I left out this 2 here, we crossed it out, but I forgot to take it out here. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. See, once we dropped out the D, it's just D plus 150. It's D plus 150. Which is why we do our verification, because once we have, whatever the hell I would have gotten here, I would have gotten 150 here, and if we had put down 150 in our problem, it would not have worked. Which is why we do the verification. So D plus 150 is not 2D. It's not 2D plus 300. Is d plus 150, which means when you bring the d to this side, we end up with two d's. Two d's equals 750 minus 150, which is 600, which means d is 300, which means the d is 300. And the question was, that was not, the question was not what is d, obviously, d was our own creation. D is something that we created and are set up. That wasn't the question. The question was, what are their respective speeds? So now we can figure out the speeds. Shall we? Let's find out. We need the room one more time. I'm going to raise this thing in a second. We know that D is 150 kilometers. I'm oh, sorry, rather 300 kilometers. Three hundred kilometers. You can figure out the speed very easily. 
the fast guy, the fast guy, whose speed will be represented with letter F, he is going to go 300, which was D plus 150 if you recall, it was D plus 150 over 10 if you recall, D plus 150 over 10. Why D plus 150? The way we had set it up, they were going to meet right here. He was going to travel the 150 kilometers additional plus another D kilometers. They were going in the same direction, this guy and this guy. This was a slow guy, this was a fast guy if you remember. So he travels D plus 150 and they end up meeting in 10 hours if you remember. So this is how much he travels, this is how many kilometers he travels in 10 hours. For D we know now is 300, so just put it in here and find out. So it's 300 plus 150 over 10, which is 450 over 10, which implies that he is going at 45 kilometers per hour. Similarly, the slow guy, slow guy only has to go D kilometers. He goes D kilometers in 10 hours, which is very easy, 300 kilometers in 10 hours, he goes 30 kilometers per hour. Slow guy is very easy. The slow guy, his speed is simply his speed is simply d kilometers in 10 hours. D we know is 300 over 10, so he goes 30 kilometers per hour. What is there that we need to do at the very end to make sure that our work is correct? Well, we're going to use this value that we're claiming. We're claiming that d is 300. We're going to use this value now for the second half of the story when they're driving towards each other and see if it makes sense. If everything fits, then the answer is correct. Let's do the verification here. Verify it here. When they're going towards each other, when they're going towards each other, that is in the opposite direction, the second half of the story, opposite, opposite directions. Then the fast guy, fast guy, goes, how much does he go? He goes, because they meet in two hours, you see, we have to remember, when they're going towards each other, they, they meet in two hours. So fast guy must go, since he's, since we are claiming that he's going 45 kilometers per hour, fast guy must go, I shouldn't say goes, but fast guy must go, 45 times 2 or 90 kilometers. But remember they were 150 kilometers away from each other. Slow guy on the other hand, slow guy on the other hand must go. We are claiming that he's going at 30 kilometers per hour. If he's going 30 kilometers per hour and he manages to meet the fast guy in two hours, in two hours he must go 30 times 2 or 60 kilometers. And when you add up the distances that they, that they travel individually, the fast guy and the slow guy, it turns out that the total amount of distance that they had traveled when they were driving towards each other was 150 kilometers per, 150 kilometers, just as what we were told in the problem. That's our way of making sure that we have not made a boo-boo. Do you understand? I know.